Hello everyone, I'm Emma and welcome back to my pub. Gonna have a quick look today if our barn is done. No, we already knew that, didn't we? We knew that from last time. I completely forgot that we already checked this, but there we can go buy our first barn animals. Let's get rid of these peach trees, we can finally move this farm. I might as well untell all this until it's a bit closer to the time that we can go and check out Holly's. Ooh, and I need to check if we've got an important guest. No, I think it's Tuesday, isn't it? Yeah, do I remember which day the important guest is coming, but not the fact that our entire barn has been built? I, I don't know. We just gotta make sure we're actually in bed on time this time because yikes. <laughs> we don't know repeated last week. Okay, it's eight o'clock, so I probably should start running down there now. Let's have a look. So we'll look at the shop first. We're probably gonna just go ahead and buy... Actually, do I need to buy... I've got 44 chickens, apparently. I probably shouldn't worry about those too much. But I might will get, though. I'm also not going to bother with cow milk. And do I want anything else? I don't think so. Should I just get it anyway? No, I mean, it says we've got 44. We'll just we'll just go with these. And I do want to have a look at the animals. So since we've got a lot of cow products already, I'm probably not going to bother with the cows. However, the sheep, I will get some of. And the pork, the pigs, do they just raise the pork? I don't know. I'm going to get a couple of sheep. Maybe we'll do this and then one pig. So I should have... Yeah, definitely four animals. Okay. We don't want to repeat of last time where I've got uh, one too many. So Holly's going to come up and explain how these animals work. The barn is the place where large animals sleep, eat and drink. For an animal to develop and start yielding products for you, you have to assign it to its respective area. Ooh, I see. So one animal per stall. Go into decoration mode and assign your new animal to an empty space. So if you want me to do that. Okay, I need to get them in my hot bar first. So if we put you in here... That's it. When an animal is placed, its space will change, allowing you to access its personal feeder and adding a badge, indicating what kind of animal occupies that space. If you want to increase the spaces in your barn, talk to Buzz. He'll help you improve your animal's home. Isn't he a dear? Barn animals have some differences with chickens. For example, they only eat from their personal feeder. It doesn't matter if there's food in another feeder. If they don't have food in theirs, the animal won't eat. In addition, the animals in the barn need to walk. Unlike the chickens, you'll decide when the animals go outside and return to the barn. I'll explain this later. Remember as well that some animals yield products such as milk and the better that they are taken care of, the faster they produce them. Cows and sheep eat hay while pigs eat leftovers. The hay and leftovers can be made on the forage table. Of course, the nutritious feed that I sell on the farm is good for any animal. As for water, the animals will drink from the same trough. Make sure there's enough water for all your animals in the barn and they will drink it to keep growing. Buzz can improve the troughs and feeders in a barn, which will increase their capacity. Once they're upgraded, you can add feed and water for several days. Investing in your facilities will make it much easier to take care of the animals. In addition to eating and drinking, barn animals should walk at least one hour a day to develop faster. Outside a barn, you'll find a bell that will help you to make animals leave or return to the barn if you ring it. Be sure to ring the bell and make them return to their stall at night. If they sleep outdoors, your animals could fall sick. Okay, that's what the medicine's for. Any animal may fall ill from walking, but it's extremely rare. Spending the night in the outdoors or walking in adverse weather conditions will greatly increase its probability. Okay, so I need to make sure it's not raining also. If an animal gets sick, it will sleep all day and won't be able to develop. The only way to cure it is to give it medicine. Luckily, I sell it on the farm. You'd do well to have a couple of units on hand. It never hurts to be prudent. Ooh, we've got it as well. Okay. She wants to show us. I'll show you how it's done. Here's the medicine. Select it from the action bar and give it to your sick animal. Wait, why did you make my animal sick just so I could... This is a horrible sales tactic. Holly, what are you doing? I'm going to give it the um, medicine. Unfortunately, the medicine is an instant. Once you've given it, your animal will be fully recovered by the next day. To sum up, you just have to make sure that the animals have food in their personal feeders, water in the trough, and that they do their daily walk without spending the night outside. Remember that on days with bad weather, your animals may get sick if they go out. Apart from that, I don't think I've left anything else out. Now you're an expert in the field. Take care of your animals, improve their facilities, and come to see me if you need anything. See ya! Okay, well that's one sheep done. Let's go and put everyone else in their stalls, including the pig as well. And then I'm going to go and grab some feed from outside. So hopefully I've got, I don't have any leftovers, so I'm going to have to make some. I don't have any dishes on me at the moment. I might just go buy some from Holly. Wait, I could have sworn I had some hay and stuff as well. We collect the eggs out of here and we'll check up this way because I should be able to make some hay. Okay, so you can only do one lot at a time. I'm going to go ahead and open and then I'm going to have a look in here at all the food and stuff and see if I can take out some leftovers that were like quite easy to make. So like things like the soup, I feel like it was quite easy or should I just make something really basic? Like, I feel like any dish, right? So what if I just made a really basic porridge with nothing in it? Because it only takes a few seconds. Where's the porridge? Am I being dumb? Oh, no, it's literally <laughs> literally the second one in. So I'm literally just going to go and put, like, some wheat in it. And that's it. I did forget to go and check the room, so I will go do that whilst that's all going on. I know that the maid put some candles in, but I just want to make sure that, like, all of them are filled. Oh, come on. Someone's angry. I'm busy. 
Oh my god, the amount that I have to run down the hallway, I'm gonna lose so much rep. Actually, there's no one here, so it's not so bad. But someone does want to root. Oh no, they left. Wait, are we good? Is this just a different pet? I don't know. I'm just gonna haggle. <laughs> First one. All three correct. I feel like when I'm still sleepy as well, that like never happens. Oh, okay. Never mind. I think I'm just gonna leave the candles for today because uh, I'm guessing all the rooms are fine. <laughs> I'll check it later in the day. Actually, I could probably could have checked from that menu if all the requirements were met. The table candles, however, are not okay. And the parrot just said something good, so I need to catch that whilst it's still good. Let's have a look. Oh, I did not clean the tables last time. All the tables are suddenly getting dirty all at once. Right, so all the rooms seem to be fine, so I'm just going to leave them alone today. Oh my god, good price, good price. So let's go get our food out of here. I'm just going to ignore anything that's going on in there for now and make some leftovers. And then at least I can get some food going in here because I do have the hay on me. So I got to the trough first and then, oh, I literally can only put one in. Okay, I definitely need to upgrade these then. So we'll have, go and find out maybe tomorrow how much all these are going to cost. Let's go check on the tavern real quick because I think I heard a bell. I don't always register when they happen though. Yeah, I did. Enjoy your stay, sir. Oh, come on. Maybe I should have waited until the rooms are done, but then it's going to be nighttime. I need to let them out for their hour walk. Leftovers are already done. I might just go ahead and make more since I still have some porridge on me. The parrot's just said something, so let's go and give him a treat. Here you go, Mango. And we do have another room while we're at it. 100% just poured- oh my god, I just poured so much coffee down me. This isn't good. I'm just gonna leave it for now because, let's be honest, you can't see it and I'll just throw this in the wash when the video's done. <laughs> okay, so we go ahead and ring the bell and then hopefully the animals should want to come out. Look at them all off for their walk. And as far as I'm aware, I should be able to now order gates from the mailbox. I did hear that. Maybe not. Maybe I have to be a high level. No, someone did say I had to be a high level, didn't they? I wonder why you'd have to be a high level for the gates, but not the fences. What I'm actually going to do is bring a chest with me over the other side. Although I'm very aware that I can't put that until later. I completely forgot that I still had rooms to rent, so that's kind of awkward. I've still got two of them. Okay, so one more after this. At least I can focus a little bit more on what's going on inside here today. At least for the rest of the day. Oops. Oh no, that's terrible. <laughs> you win this round today, sir. So whilst all that's going on, we'll have a look at- oh my god, look how much space we've got. Let's look at the trends. These are new ones as well, so I definitely haven't got everything for that. I do have some chorizo saved, so we'll sort that out. And then cow's milk is trendy, spag balls trendy, and quiche are trendy. So let's go ahead and do the spaghetti bolognese first. Maybe we do a couple of rounds of that. Wait, what are we missing? Tomato sauce. Oh no. Get a few batches of that going. Why is the pub, like, suddenly getting so dirty all at once? Do I have to hire another broom? Let's get this last room sorted first. What I think I need to do is actually move one of the brooms over here so it doesn't have to move quite as far. I wonder if I can do that. No, it definitely says it must be closed. Okay, never mind. I'll do it after. All right, there we go. So we'll do our one more batch of spaghetti bolognese with pork mince and wheat pasta. Nope, barley pasta do. And then our chorizo, I think, should be in this chest, right? These are both aged, so I'm going to take them with me. And I need to put all my ingredients away. I've got so many just kind of hanging out in my inventory. I do wish there was like an add to stacks button because that would make my life so much easier. Oh, I need to put this away too. As soon as it hits seven, I am going to very quickly turn on the fire and then I need to go and call my animals in. Wait, now it says it's too hot. See, this isn't the first time this has happened. Oh, nope, we're all good. Okay, so maybe it's like five past seven. All right, it says night time, so let's call them all in. Oh, there would be someone angry whilst I'm busy. No, stop it. Can you chill? Or like get out. That That's also cool. All right, first things first, let's get the chorizo in there and then we'll swap out some of these. Actually, what is the trendy drink? Because I didn't really look at that. Brown ale and pale ale. That's neither of these things. Okay, <laughs> I need to make some of that. And I do have some rose wine, but I could probably make more. So we'll get one thing of brown ale done. And I don't think we've got any trendy ingredients to put in here. So I'm just going to go ahead and add like whatever. Same with the pale ale, although as usual, I will always add the honey because of money. What I haven't also done is looked... Oh, just as I go in there, there's someone angry. Please chill. I also haven't checked today if there's anything uh, aged ready to go. I mean, we've got the cheese, obviously. Now, anything in here? No, nope. it's all empty. And anything in the queue? No. Let's top up on some other stuff while we're at it. Oh, we haven't done the quiche. So I'm just trying to see if like anything specifically asked for cow's milk, I think. I need to check actually by the type of cheese. So the brie, cheddar. Okay, what needs sheep milk? So it's going to be the Emmental. These four need sheep milk. These four need cow milk. I can go with a spicy cheddar. There's something else as well. I can't remember what it was though. We'll just have some chicken in there because we've got quite a lot of it. And then let's also do another batch of rose wine as well. Just kidding. I don't have any juice. Gonna have to make a couple of batches of that. All right, let's go ahead and call last orders because there are some things I want to sort out outside too. And I'll go ahead and start cleaning up some of the tables. I think 
I'm hoping they don't make them like extra dirty when they leave because I know that they drop a lot of food when they get out of here for some reason. I don't really know what that's all about. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I might just have a third broom instead of moving that broom. And I'm just going to shove it like in the middle of this area. So I'll put this chest near the barn. And in it, I'll put all the leftovers and all the hay. Maybe I should move the medicine and stuff over here as well. That probably does mean that giving the chickens the vitamins and stuff was kind of a waste. And I do want to see at what point they eat as well. I mean, it just have four days duration. Do I just give some to them all now? Maybe we can, we can give it a try. Why not? They're all asleep though. So is it not going to work? Oh, you can still do it. Okay. I don't mean to disturb you whilst you're asleep, but this is very important. So I guess they eat first thing in the morning because nothing has been taken yet. We'll also order the broom so it's there for tomorrow. And now let's head to bed because I just realized the time we almost missed it again. No! All right, we made it. Everything's fine. All right, before we open, let's sort everything out. We'll wait a little while for the rented room lady to do her thing. We'll do a quick candle check. And let's get these two new kegs on the tap as well and make sure they're ready to go. I also never got around to doing the rose wine either. And then I'm going to check what the other ingredient was that was trendy. This is the wrong one over here. Oh, it was corn. Okay. Oh, I could have made corn pasta. That's fine though. All right. I'll go and feed everyone outside and then we'll open for the day. So let me go look at the pig's information. Ah, oh, right. Okay. So this is how I get my own intestine. I just realized I walked in here without the food. That's kind of awkward. So I need three of them and one of them and yeah maybe before we open we go and check with buzz how much it's going to cost us to upgrade it would be nice to not have to worry about it for a couple of days should i open as well let's ring the bell and let them out that's pretty cool having your barn animals bell trained <laughs> right where is he there he is hi buzz can you um look at modifications for me i'm looking at the chicken coop and i want to look at the facilities so the feeder what does that cost thanks nails oh my god it costs so much gold okay and how much does it cost to upgrade the water trough i should, really should have brought the planks and nails with me i don't know why i didn't do that should i do that first i probably should do that first i should have enough with me i'm guessing it's going to take some time to upgrade each one we'll see how that works in a second but i'll bring enough for multiple upgrades in case they are instant i don't actually know i do feel like someone might have said this in a comment but i cannot remember off the top of my head so what was i doing again i was here for all right yes planks and nails so we'll take an entire stack of each that should be enough for what we are doing i don't want to go into building mode whoops all right but i am back so we're modifying the facilities in here so if we start with what's that with the water trough i think i should start with the feeder so if i upgrade that to level two right it looks like it's instant so um i need to figure out how to use this menu better because i'm not doing very good at this oh there's a back button down there do all right upgrade to level two and then we want to do basically we just want to do all of them to level two We'll do the trough as well. Oh, I don't have enough planks. Never mind. All right, the trough's fine. Uh, is it though? Because then I want to do it daily still. All right, never mind. We'll do that tomorrow. And I'll double up on the feed the next day as well. So we'll go and check the candles first before we go ahead and open for the day. Because obviously the room lady does some of them, but she won't do all of them. She probably thinks I'm absolutely taking the pee with how many candles I use. <laughs> like, ma'am, this isn't cozy anymore. This is more of a fire hazard. <laughs> that is not going to stop me. All right, I think we're good to go. So I'm going to get open. Can't forget about the ones in here though. Oh no, I forgot to put the broom down. Uh, I don't want to risk the important guest, so I'm not going to close. I'll just leave it. I'm also waiting for the next room guest. I'm going to look through and see what we're missing out of these food items. So it looks like the sweet pie is missing something. There's nothing trendy I can put in here though. But I guess it's good to have on hand anyway. And what's next? We haven't got any fondue or grilled steak. At least we can make that spicy, but we can't put corn in it, sadly. I'd love to put corn in a cheese dip. That'd be really nice, but I'm going to add garlic and grilled steak as well it's going to be chicken because we've got so much chicken so looking at the next trends as well oh no i've just put two kegs of that out never mind corn's still going to be trendy so that's good strawberry and garlic i need to make sure i've got enough of those but i'm probably going to just like brew it ready just because then i can age it in time as well i've got 42 strawberries so we're all good no i left before it was done we'll do some stout as well and then i'm guessing milk wise they're not going to produce till tomorrow i don't know how to check this though do i have to go up to the animal perhaps I just got heard a bell actually, so I should probably go check if there's a room. Oh, and there's an angry person anyway, so I have to go. I'm pretty sure as well the parrot just was good. We'll have a look at its training as well. Oh my god, look how close we are to being done. Nice. Not gonna have to worry as much anymore about the parrot saying something nasty. The thing is, do I then get a second one to like boost our chances of getting more passive rep? Oh, another room just in time. It's only a few hundred a day though. It's only as much as like maybe a couple of customers, so I don't know if it's worth it with all the stress of the training. I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments. I was doing something out here and I can't remember what it was. But yeah, I wanted to look at the animals. Where are they? They've really like gone and wandering. Oh, come on. Let me take care of my animals in peace. Wait, are they still inside? Oh, no, they are. I'll ring the bell again in a minute then. 
So it says this for milk. How does it work? I don't know. All right, well, I'll let them out and see what's going on. Actually, there's milk things up here. Is it something to do with this? I haven't got a clue. Let's just um let them walk. Maybe it's tomorrow. I think I remember this from the chickens as well, that I do need to wait an extra day. Oop, our guest is here. Look at all that rep. We should have some more stuff for the book. Yes, we do. And we've got another room as well. Damn it. Oh, please. Okay. <laughs> Terrible. I'm pretty sure that's lower than the rate that they started off with. I'm not entirely sure though. Oh, how funny. All right, we've got all of those in there. Rosemine's still doing fine. And it's looking like our place is getting particularly dirty. Oh my God, I'm really just like waiting at this point. As soon as the guest leaves, I'm, so, I'm doing so bad at these today. As soon as the guest leaves, I'm going to put down that extra broom. I really wish I did that yesterday because I'm going to have to start paying a bit more attention to cleaning this place. I don't really want to be losing rep because of that. Where even is the guest? I haven't seen the star yet. Oh my god, they're actually sitting at the VIP table. That's brilliant. That's amazing. All right, let's get this wine in there. Then we've got a couple more things to make. So fish, where's my corn? Can I not add corn to anything? Like, is it only strictly a grain now? Because I feel like adding corn to like any food is pretty normal, though I suppose it depends on what type of corn, right? I don't know. Well, it's going to be a spicy fish. Also out of stuffed chicken, so that's a nice easy one to sort out. And I think this is our last rented room. Yes, it is. See if I can do any better this time. I mean, hopefully you think. I guess it's like when I'm really properly paying attention. There we go. That's that's how you do it. <laughs> I've had a few bad runs in a row today. When I say today, I mean like this game day. I'm going to make a huge batch of corn flour just because that would make sense right now with the trends that are coming up. Ah, angry person. Getting trapped in the maze of my own crafting room. All right, I think our guest has finally left. So I just saw someone get 200 and something rep. Yep, there we go. So I'm going to go ahead and call last orders so I can get the place straightened out. I do want to see if I can experiment with cramming as many rugs into this place as possible. Off they will go. Goodbye, everybody. Have a good night. And we can now send these guys home. And I'll go ahead and place you over here. All right, so let's have a look what we've got in terms of decorations in our little chest in here, because I think we've got several things that we can try and cram in here. I don't know if the shaggy carpets are going to be worth it because we've got so many of those already. But we can give it a go. I mean, I've only got three rugs, but we'll find a place, I'm sure. First one can go back here. And then we've got two of these types of rugs. So I'm thinking we just do like, I wanted to do a walkway, but the door doesn't quite line up, which is kind of annoying. However, we could fit one over here. And then we've got another one that we can fit down here. We've also got two more pictures that I'm hoping we can shove somewhere. However, I don't think it's going to happen. I think we've really run out of room on wall space there. We have made a significant improvement to the comfort level though. I'm going to go ahead and age these as well because tomorrow I should be able to take them out again. Just to need to make sure that I don't accidentally take the trendy ones. Well, I'll, I'll take them out of the aging barrels, but I won't like put them in the taps yet. I won't do that till the day of. Although saying that, I might use today to revamp where I put the farm. You know, like I said, I was going to. So for now, I'll just shove all the kegs in here. I've got 91 fences to use. Oh, I didn't put the bedside table thing down. And I'll send you guys home today because I'm going to be not doing any of that stuff. How can another candle holder not fit here? I'm upset. They can fit here though. That would look odd though. I'm literally just trying to crown them in wherever I can. Actually, mind you, I could put one on this side and one on this side. And this one I'm going to go ahead and put by the door. Now I need to find a place for this little table. I mean, like I don't have to, but I really want to. <laughs> you know what? Can we put the teddy on the table? I think I've tried this before and I can't. I really wish you could. I'm going to put that there and we'll find another place to hide teddy. There we go. <laughs> Sometimes you just got to cram it all in there. So now where did I say I was putting my farm? Because the chicken area is kind of everywhere. I did want to fence it in, so maybe I do keep it around here. I can just do it down the middle. Because I'm thinking when I sort out this fenced area, I'm just going to increase it upwards over here. Maybe I'll move the barn up as well. Not entirely sure if I even have enough fences. Oh, I need to go down to Buzzers today actually and get him to upgrade my water trough. I think I've still got some planks and stuff in. Oh, I don't. Okay, I definitely need to make some more planks today. There he is. Good morning, Buzz. I need your help with some building modifications. I literally just want to upgrade the trough. There we go. Everything's level two now. That's pretty much all I wanted to do for now. I don't think I want to increase the amount of animals here, but maybe the chickens. I just need 12 mortar. Okay. I'm going to have another look to see if I can find the gate. Oh, door for wooden fence. It's called door for fence. Okay. So I think I'm going to buy a couple of those. I will actually fence my chickens in in that case. Maybe we'll buy like four of them. Actually, I need like a few more because I kind of want a door for the fences in the actual farm area as well, as in like the crop farm area. Maybe I will go ahead and uh, fence in the chickens after all. And obviously we are going to give them plenty of room. We just want to be able to walk around the perimeter if we need to. And for now, I will leave the holes for the fences. And by that, I meant the gates. And then we'll just um, sort them out later. Actually, how wide? Yep, yeah, there. Okay. 
I thought I had the wrong leg spacing then. I think I want it on this side of the rock because I kind of want to be able to have a big enough crop farm area too. In fact, what I need to do first actually is prioritize chopping down some trees and making them into planks so that I can make more fences because I'm definitely going to have nowhere near enough. I just realized I haven't tended to my barn animals today and I should probably do that too. Oh my god, all the things at once. All right, got the wood here. We're going to make some nails. I probably didn't need to do that. I'm going to make some planks and then we'll sort out these guys. I definitely need to make some more leftovers. Oh, you got to them and milk them. Nice. Oh my god, calm down, sheep. You good? There we go. We've got two spaces for each now. So now I can just check on them every other day. Although I do need to milk them every day still. I don't know. Oh, so I've got some seeds. Wait. Oh, this is... <laughs> I'm checking the chest and not the delivery box. I was like, where is it? Is it bugged out again? What an idiot. Oh no, I didn't want to open. Let's try out the gates then. So this one I want kind of close. Like so. And then I want one at the bottom down here. And I need to rotate that the other way like this. And then assess them out. So we open... Oh. <laughs> That's a very aggressive noise. The problem is I need to make sure the chickens are kind of near the coop. That's the only thing. So I'm gonna, what I'll do is I'll leave the top open for now because I kind of don't want my chickens to get like stuck outside, but I will do the rest of the fences and I'll just leave it like that. <laughs> I'll finish off those fences in the morning and I don't particularly want to let these out until I've fenced them in. Whoops. I will move that over to the right place. So let's pick all these up. Now, ideally, I would have had it lined up, but this rock might be in the way. I do wish I could remove these, but that's fine. Maybe I don't need as many fences as I thought. Okay, so it will fit up there. So maybe one more fence. Maybe I need to move the chicken one up too then, so I can actually have them lined up. I just have one more gate to put at the bottom here, and then I can let them all out. So if I now go ahead and ring the bell, they should all be contained. Are you coming? Yep, there they are. So yeah, what I now want to do is bring this up right to the top here. Although I'm worried that I've not quite done it right oh no okay well it's gonna have to be slightly off but that's all right maybe i don't need to fence in the farm farm after all oh no now that doesn't fit okay so i do have to move everything up oh pain oh this is gonna suck so hard right all of my chickens are in so i'm gonna try and like get them kind of like not able to leave hopefully they can't leave through that for now i oh, know i need to move all of these up though oh no they do get out all right come on get in there get in go inside that's it there we go all four definitely in again. No, this one's escaped now. How? I'm gonna have to remove that fence. And then we just have to hope for the best that it goes back towards the coop. I think it's starting to wander. Yep, there we go. I hear night noises. That probably means that they're gonna try and go home anyway. All right, are we all secure? Yes, we are. Although it isn't lined up at the bottom here, so maybe I do need to add another section. But that's probably gonna be easy to do though, that they're not wandering around. There we go. Oh, I didn't mean to pick the gate up. Whoops. I think we're all good now. So now all I've got left to do is the actual plant farmy bit. So maybe what would be good is just to like link these with the fences. I might make that a tomorrow job though. Although it would be kind of an excessively large farm, so maybe not. I'm going to go ahead and put down the scarecrow though, just to get it. Oh my god, it's enormous. Get it on the ground like that. And I think today we're going to have a nice early bedtime. But let's also have a look when our next important guest is coming. Okay, Saturday. Lovely. I do need to think about grading probably the chicken coop just so that we can hold more feed and stuff. I'm thinking I'm going to take all of this stuff over to Buzz today. We'll chop some wood whilst we're waiting for him to open. It's Buzz. Hello. Um, let's, So let's do modifications. I want to upgrade to level two. Do I have everything I need? Yes, I do. So let's go ahead and do that. And I'm guessing that's going to be done in a few days. We're going to have a look if it's like a building site or something. I'm checking out on the eggs and such. I mean, the chickens and how much they can produce. They're not producing much at all. I wonder why. You're also not going to give me much meat either. So I guess I just keep you around for now. They're not very well grown. We'll just see what happens over time. And what I do need to do is go ahead and milk the sheep. No, I don't. They are not producing today. So I guess maybe once the bar is filled, that's when they produce. I'm not entirely sure, but let's let them all out for a walk. How have you eaten all of your leftovers already? I put two in there. Where? Why? guess I need to make more like ASAP. We'll make a load of porridge later just for the purpose of leftovers. Let's let them all out. I just realized as well I've left my staff in here. So maybe we do open for a bit and we kind of alternate what we do. At least we've got a few sheep milk for now. So as usual, we sort out any candles upstairs. That wasn't as bad as I thought. I mean, there were quite a few to put in, but it wasn't too bad. And then we can just get on with doing the rest of them down here. There's so many to place. I go through a stupid amount of candles. Oh, come on. Someone would want a room first thing, wouldn't they? But it'll be interesting to see how the rep does today now that we've got quite a bit more comfort. Whoops. Actually, I'll go ahead and do the porridge now. Mind you, it says zero, so maybe I should do a set of porridge that's just for the people to eat as well. Uh, What else do I want to add to it? We'll keep it sweet. And then one, like, another pure wheat porridge. 
I just realized I actually missed a few candle holders. That is not good. Do one more over here. There we go. Oh no, I missed a few here too. Oh no. I'm not very good at this, am I? Oh, I missed so many. Whoops. There we go. And I do still accidentally press escape instead of leaving the um, decorating menu. I always think escape's going to get me out of it, but apparently not. You cannot escape without pressing the correct button. Hey, three in a row. I, didn't, I genuinely didn't think I was going to get that. Good power. Have a cracker. Oh no. You don't get a cracker though. You get a whack or not. Apparently me just saying that was enough. I totally don't threaten my customers or anything. Ah, whoops. I think that was karma. <laughs> Oh my god, another one? I literally need to be gone for like a second. I'll be right with you. I'm just dealing with restocking this stuff. Oh my god, I really need to sort out the food like ASAP. Oh no. All right, let's see. What are we missing? I mean, we could do with some toast. We've run out of ribs. Let's do some lamb. And what else are we out of? Oh my god, we're almost out of chorizo already and it's still trendy. So maybe I should make some more. We'll do beef this time. There's that porridge. I just don't really like the amount of like weird numbers of items because then I have to keep having some left over and it's kind of annoying. I don't know if you know what I mean, like it makes like 27 of something and then anything that needs 20 for a recipe, you've got seven left over. It's gonna be a long time until you kind of like reach that point in the cycle where you can be done with that stack again. <laughs> oh, I didn't make the leftovers, whoops. I'll put the porridge out here in the chest too then. Um, There it is. Oh, we also ran out of breaded cutlet. That is not good. Um, Let's do pork this time. Wheat breadcrumbs and I mean, butter's gonna taste the best. Of course, a savory pie, so let's fix that. And I want to have a look how much rep we're now getting. 2.99 still. That's not ideal. Have I still got food on me? No, I haven't. I think it's that I'm trying to keep up with the variety and it's proving a little difficult. I just realized I do have a fourth oven though, so I can deal with it that way. Let's do some spicy corn soup. Sweet and spicy corn soup. Once everything's done as well, I'm going to make a huge batch of cornbread because that's about to be trendy also still. Oh, I keep forgetting to make the cheese. Go, go, go. What are we missing? Oh, curd. Okay, we'll make a couple of curd then. This should help our rep case. I've got quite a few new things to come in. Mind you, I've got to catch up. Every time I try and fill it, more happens. I think I need to plan ahead a little better. I'm still not very good at that. I do think I've got a good variety going, but I do need to try and think ahead and make some more wine before that runs out. Oh, I didn't realize how much curd you get. I didn't need to make that much. Never mind. Let's do some of this then. And then maybe I just keep the sheep milk stuff behind until it's trendy because I don't get a huge amount of it. Right, so let's make a huge batch of cornbread. I feel like I could technically squeeze in one more oven here, so I might actually try and do that. And whilst I'm out here, did I order that? I think I did. Whilst I'm out here, I am going to call my animals back in because they've definitely been outside long enough. All right, huge batch of bread done. And let's give the parrot a cracker. Oh no, I've already given two today. It always creeps up on me. I always think I've done like one or even sometimes none and apparently not. Let's help out our table guy real quick. I do notice that our rep seems to be pretty capped sometime around the 300 mark, maybe just below. I need to figure out what it is that I need to improve here because when we get the important guest, it's double and sometimes they get like way more on that day and I don't know why, as in like more than double. We've only got one more day of this trend left, so I probably need to ignore that. Oh, there we go, 315. There we go, it's increasing again. And we need to look at the next ones. So I need to make sure I've got lasagna on hand. Garlic is trendy, ribs are trendy. Okay, awesome. So do I have it? Oh, that's why I don't have any lasagna. I mean, it's not trendy yet, but you know. Is there anything that's almost out that I can add some garlic to? Probably the quiche, easily. I definitely need to grow some more though, so this is a perfect time to sort out the farm. Anything in here that needs collecting? No. However, I do how however I do now have stuff to put in there because I just collected a couple of kegs. Oh no, we got cold. No. Okay, I'm gonna call last orders. Awkward. Completely forgot. That's really gonna put a damper on the rep gain. Yeah, look at that. That's terrible. Oh no. You <laughs> so much. It's just because I forget. Let's send our staff home. We'll check on all this stuff because I do need to get this rum in the aging barrels because otherwise. I'm not going to have any. I know the rum isn't trendy or anything. It's just I like to have obviously the variety. I could have sworn I also made wine. Did I forget? No harm in doing some more, right? Wait, I, I know because I can look over here and see. Yeah, no, I haven't done it. Whoopsie. And then let's see if we can fit our fifth oven in. If not, I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do with it. Uh, That's the wrong place. It's here. I mean, I feel like trying to check the mailbox makes sense when it comes to like if an order has been delivered, but then obviously it's not going to fit in there. Having a delivery box makes way more sense. So if I put you here, can I put you there? No, it's got to be here, but then I can still... I can't fit up the side of there, but I couldn't anyway. So it's not really any worse. I would like to see if level 22 does give us more tiles to work with. Hopefully we'll be reaching that before the end of today's video. And then before we get going today, I will go and check on the animals. Actually, I need to make some more leftovers, don't I? I keep forgetting that I was in the middle of doing that. Oh, see, today it worked. Oh no, now they're being fed on different days. That's so annoying. Actually, no, because once I fill it up today, we should be good. I don't know what I'm talking about. I think you know what I mean. And we should be able to melt the sheep today. Yes, we can. There we go. 
So I'll go ahead and let them out for the day. I'll order some garlic seeds and then we'll set up our farm area. So I've ordered like 10. I'm gonna have a look in the food section and see if we've got any new ingredients in there today. Green bean, honey, lime. I've got 38 lime still, so I don't need to worry about that. Looks like, actually I'll get some more onions. But other than that, nothing we really need so much. So as for the farm area, I need to try and think how I want it. That's so annoying that I can't put... Oh no, okay, I'm gonna have to have like a little walkway down the side of it. Never mind. I do want one of these to be a gate, so I'll move that. There we go. I should still be able to get down there. And I won't completely finish this off today, just because I obviously want to focus on being open, I think, today. It's just a start, you know? And then I do need to go ahead and replant this grass. Just so I can start again a little easier. I mean, maybe not there. Maybe we start our first little row here. I did need to remove the fences here just to get this fixed. I'm hoping the one under this fence is just going to fix itself after some time. It's just so that the oops, the crop row doesn't like connect to that piece of dirt because that would be really annoying. My order's already delivered so that's kind of perfect. I don't know if I've done like probably too many tiles actually. I should have done this before I put the seeds down but actually it will kind of give us an idea of how many are left. Because then I only have to count the empty squares and we know that there are 10 on top of that. Let's go ahead and plant these. And then we find that we've only got one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's 16 across. Good to know. Do our usual daily check of all the room candles and then I can get open. All right, let's do this. Hopefully we don't get a room like right away. I mean, I managed to get all the ones on the tables down before the first room came in. Caps are done. The parrot said something good. Ooh, we just got the early bird achievements probably to do with the training. What is the achievement? Max training level A. Let's have a look. So maybe now, hopefully it's not going to say anything bad. I don't know if I have to keep it up though. Maybe I just need to make sure I'm feeding it at least a cracker a day. I might go say hello to Buzz whilst we're here. Hi Buzz. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. Okay. I, I never questioned it. It's fine. D don't, don't worry. I'll just, um, I'll just leave you to it. <laughs> Maybe we don't bother him anymore whilst he's working. <laughs> Let's get you to your room. Let's see if we can get another three. I don't think we've got a three today, have I? I don't know. I can never remember. We're all starting to like blur into one now. So far so good. Let's get that last one. There we go. 158.58. Just standing here to keep an eye on the rep. Yes, 327. So our rep is going up. Just trying to make sure, obviously, we've got that variety kept up. I've realized I hadn't made any pickles in a while. So there's that as well. I get why it's made at the prep table and not an oven, but it does get confusing because obviously the prep table is usually for stuff that isn't directly eaten, but that's okay. I'm still carrying leftovers as well. So I do want to make sure I'm going to go put those in a chest outside. We'll check on our existing batch as well. There we go. There's another one done. And hopefully I can get in and out of here without an angry customer turning up. There we go. We're all good. Everything's fine. Actually, should I oh, come on. I was just about to say, should I call them in? Because it's definitely been more than an hour now, but we are being really interrupted. There's a lot of rowdy customers today. I've already kicked out like three or four of them. Oh, that's the wrong person. Good thing I came in as well, because we did have a room. We got through on this one. All right, now can we get our animals back in before it turns dark? Okay, I just heard the rep down noise, so it does seem that the parrot can still say bad stuff. Maybe it's just not as often, even at max training. I guess it's a reminder that like no animal is going to be perfect even when it is fully trained. Oh no, I just had to get up from my desk for literally like two minutes and now I can't remember if I put my animals away. At least I don't have to mess around with the gates for that. No, I think they're all inside now. We're all good. Everything's fine. Oh no, I just realized the fences aren't going to work here, are they? Uh, I'll test this another time. Let's get the fire on in advance again and I think I'm going to need more firewood soon. But I do need to make sure I close on time today because I'm pretty sure we have a guest. I'm probably going to get a nice early night. Yes, we are. Oh, we've got some food done. I think I've only got two spaces in the book. Let's hope that something's sold in the like minutes that we've been away from it. Okay, yeah, we have three spaces. Exactly, that's perfect. Oh, never mind. The chicken always stacks. Whilst we're at it, let's see if we can prepare also for the next trends. So garlic's still going to be trendy. Cheese starter? Does that just mean cheese? Like in general, I guess so. Ribs are still trendy. Bread's trendy. Do I just have to serve bread on its own then? I don't know. Ale ale stout and porter. I don't think I have any porter, so perhaps we do that. But I'm going to call last orders because I don't want any mishaps tonight. I didn't see any like fruity type ingredients, so I don't think it matters what we put in the alcohol at the moment. Now we just wait for everyone to leave. I'm also going to pre-clean the table so I don't have to worry about that tomorrow. Okay, bedtime. I'm going to go ahead and help with the rooms and get some of them knocked on. We'll make a start on getting the candles down whilst they're being cleaned up, although it's harder to see where the candle holders are because of all of the mess. I wonder if I get less rep for knocking. I don't think I do, right? Okay, I think I have all of the candles sorted out, so I think I'll just leave the room lady to do her thing. I'm gonna go and order more candles though because I am on my last stack now, and I'm about to use a whole load of them on the dining side of the tavern. There we go, almost 200 more candles. Oh, I need to check on the animals for feed and stuff. I don't think I've done that with the chickens. I keep forgetting about this. But then again, they, um, hopefully they've got their coop upgraded now. Are you still, oh, you're still working. 
I mean, we still have some eggs to collect and you are kind of in my way. Oh no, there we go. If I get on the exact right pixel, there's no bucket with water. Oh no, disaster. Get them filled up. I can't believe I completely ran out of water. Let's try that again. So here. There we go, we're all good. And I also need to come and let all the barn animals out. All right, I think that's all the main things handled, so I will go ahead and open. Let's get this important guest day started. I did, however, forget to check the cellar, so that's not ideal, but we can collect what we can. Let's see. Oh my god, someone's mad already. I can't be having that. Oh my god, can I find a free... There we go. You've been in here for like three seconds. What can you possibly be annoyed about? Where is it? There. At least they calm down. Okay, the book is full, so I can't exactly add anything else right now. I just have to wait a while, but I'll keep everything on me, which is literally like two things, but that's fine. Actually, I can put the keg in here. The wine I'll just hold on to until I can fit it. What did I order to get? It says order. What did I? Oh, candles. I completely forgot. I have so many candles. First room of the day. This actually took a while to come in. Maybe they're not all finished uh, being cleaned yet. Actually, no, because I saw quite a few. Oh, how can I miss that? I saw quite a few uh, on the list there ready to go, so it can't be that. The thing is just luck. I'm trying to see if there's anything I can get ready in advance. I'll just go ahead and keep it in the chest until we need it. Kind of a good time to stock up on stuff and then I don't have to worry. I'm truly hoping our guest doesn't take absolutely forever to come. Did I? Is it definitely today? I feel like I've checked the calendar so many times, yeah. And I definitely went to bed on time, so it can't be that. I think it's just a case of waiting until they arrive. Ah, uh, no, not today. Stop it. Oh, oh, they're here. Yes, 669 rep. Nice. This is going to be a very good rep day. There's no way we don't hit level 22 today. No way at all. I feel like the only thing that could help us with the dining space comfort now that would make any significant amount of difference is actually the lilies, but I really don't want to do it because we have a cat. It just feels wrong. I suppose I could see if there's a place that I can make the lilies inaccessible, but I don't think there is. I can probably go ahead and put my animals in now. It's definitely been way more than enough time. I just like to do it a little earlier in the day just because otherwise I'm probably going to forget. We'll get rid of this tree as well because I feel like it's kind of in the way and I think I just heard a room. Oh no, I just shut myself in. Okay, they're all going in anyway so I can leave that gate open. And we've got an angry person. Everything's happening at once. Get out of here. And how much money can we get from you? Come on, let's get a good three. One more. There we go. We'll get the money for all the upgrades somehow. I mean, it's not like we're short, but still. I feel like when you want to, you can burn through it really quickly. We are so nearly touching 22 now. I'm trying to prepare my body for the jump scare I'm probably about to get from the level up sound. Oh, there it is. Rep 22. Now we can get the hanging plant in the mailbox. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and buy some of those already to get them ready to go. Oh, and they give you 10 comfort as well. So I'm going to buy like 10 of them because I want to be able to get them for the rooms too. And we're going to find a way to crown them in the walls somehow. <laughs> I'm sure we can do it. Ooh, a room. 150 a decent rate. I'm always particularly happy to see anything around 150 or above. Oh, and there's our final room. This is one of the better rooms as well, I think. Oh, it's starting in the gold anyway. Nice. No pressure then. Oh my god, 166 definitely a record and that is why he gets the really comfy room all right spaces are now starting to open up so i can remove stuff from the chest i could have sworn i had some food in here but that's fine i think snout is trendy right now i'll go and check the book in a second i'm already forgetting oh there we go we really are selling through stuff now oh yeah i forgot to check the trends what are they strawberry corn garlic Pilsner stout mild ale oh i did remember right okay we've got plenty of ribs still and it's lasagna we've still got 15 of those i don't think i've got i haven't got that much savory pie do i have any mild ale doesn't look like it i've just put some pilsner in the book we've got a couple of different pilsners actually so maybe some mild ale would do us some good we've also run out of sweet pie so i'm gonna make some of that with some strawberries we've also run out of kebabs all right can i even make any mild ale right now yes i can apparently i do still have a keg of it somewhere so i'm guessing that is what is downstairs Oh, we're almost out of cheeseburgers too. I've actually remembered the fires today. I'm kind of proud of myself there. This person doesn't agree though, apparently. Okay, the guest has left. I've got my hanging plants and then I'm going to call last orders in a sec so we can go and put them up ready for tomorrow. Oh, someone just had 410 rep. Nice. See, I wonder why some random people do have a spike. Is it to do with how long they've been there? I don't know. I don't know how this works. All right, let's send my staff members home. And then here we've got some stuff to put away. Stick all these in there. And then I'm going to go straight into decoration mode and see if we can get these plants up. So how big are they? Oh, they're huge. Okay. How are we going to make these fit? So I kind of thought they were going to be a lot smaller than that. Like, would that have fit there? I don't think it would. <laughs> I just saw it work for a, literally a pixel. Okay, it'll work up there. So it's mainly the hook that's the problem. I don't think that'll look right there, though. 
Like we can hang one here. I'm going to go ahead and do that. We can also fit one down here. I want it to be like cozy, you know? How funny would it be to hang plant there? I feel like it's like hanging off the shelf. That actually looks kind of cute. Can we do them off these ones too? No, it doesn't look like it. Wait, there's different styles. <gasps> okay, there's two styles. Exactly two. I want to try and cram another one in somewhere. Maybe I just stick with the three. Three is actually quite a lot. We do have almost 500 comfort, so I don't think we have to worry too much about that. And the rest will go in the rooms tomorrow. Let's get this mild ale aging. That's not going to fit in there. There we go. There's the space for it. That will then be ready for tomorrow. Like we're on a new day now, and I am surprised that aging is only just an overnight job. But I'm not going to complain. <laughs> I'm happy to uh, collect it the next day. I feel like age just false advertising, but you know. And I'm gonna go ahead and knock on all of these just so I can get the plants down. So how are we gonna cram them into these? I think I'm gonna fit one in that room. Apparently we can fit one somewhere around here. Maybe not. We can put one behind the wardrobe here, some hidden comfort. I know that makes no sense, but it's about the rating. At least I can fully hide them so they don't look odd. Can I fit one in this room? And hang one off the window there behind. I mean, plants are kind of like having an air purifier, right? So we could we could say that. There we go. Hidden them all behind there. And then we'll get the candles in here whilst we're here. I don't think there are many to do, though. And then we'll check to see if our garlic's done. I think it is. I'm going to go ahead and open because it's going to take some time for... Can I help us with scythe, actually? No. I just click on them. We've got plenty of garlic now. Um, It's going to take some time for customers to come in. At least ones that are wanting rooms anyway. Go ahead and tend to all of my animals. I did just hear a room, but they're going to have to wait a minute. Let's let you all out. Can't forget to close the gate. That would have been kind of funny, just having animals roam around everywhere. I mean, I know I had that on the first couple of days, but I don't want to risk it. Rent a roommate still has something wrong with it. So I don't know if that is the fact that it isn't clean yet or if a candle's just gone out or something. I'm going to have to go check. I think this is number eight on the end here. Nope, that's all good. We'll check down the opposite end. Nope, we're all good. Okay. Never mind. We'll see if it still says there's something wrong. Oh no, it's all good now. It just wasn't clean yet. Gotta give the woman a chance. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Mind you, I didn't blame her. I just thought there was something else wrong with it. <laughs> can I hang these? Oh my god, I can still hang these while we're open. I'm trying to see if I can cram in this last one somewhere. Apparently it can hang off the picture. Let's do that. I got some of the one comfort. Worth it to me. Any comfort counts. I'm trying to keep my eye on any rep for people leaving, but I think it's a bit early for that yet. Like, I don't know if it's to do with the customers that walk in or if it's how it is. I mean, 338, that's still higher than most of what I've got so far. I've just checked the calendar and our next important guest isn't going to be here till next Wednesday, so we've got plenty of time to mess around with stuff. What I didn't check earlier is how much time I still have. Oop. I guess I'll check that in a minute. Who is it? You. That's the only problem with having a tavern that's so wide is that I can't like see everyone at once. It's really annoying. I have to like run around and by that time they've made a little bit of an effect there. So let's see time. I've got 26. That's plenty for now. Almost forgotten carrying two kegs around with me. Let's get those in the taps. Right, I just sorted all those and then I realized I was running around with the other mugs of beer. There we go. I suppose I should do a quick food check too. Oh, we got a room. Never mind. I'm going to forget now, aren't I? I mean, nothing says zero, so we're all good. I mean, we've got the sausage and the chorizo situation, but I still need more intestine, which I can't do until I have more pigs. Or at least my pig that I have has grown up. That's just going to be a case of waiting. I'm curious if I can actually place chests while we're closed, because I've never tried. I mean, open. I can. Okay, good to know. I could have been doing this the whole time. And it does work. I was worried about these rocks getting in the way, but we're all good. I am, however, going to need way more fences. I've got nowhere near enough. I know this stone is going to cause a problem. I might just fence around it because I feel like that would be the realistic thing to do. I think this amount of fences should be enough, so I won't waste any more planks and stuff on that. Completely missed that there was someone waiting for a room, though. Whoops. I do wonder if their rate goes down the longer they've been waiting. Whoopsie. I mean, I definitely just made it worse. <laughs> 82 will do. Bro, I've got another 37 fences. That should be enough, hopefully. Oh, we will get an interruption. Who is it? Who dares interrupt me whilst I'm placing fences? Get out of here. Nope, come back. Okay, there we go. I am going to go ahead and just rotate this fence like this, simply because even though it's technically backwards, and so is this, I don't want to be able to not have extra towels taken up. I think we are all good though. And lastly, we get our gate down. There we go. Our farm area is fully fenced in. Definitely had way too many fences though. Well, not really way too many, just like a batch or two too many. Wait, why do I still have the gate? Did I just accidentally pick one up? Oh no. What have I done? Where is it? There. Okay, we're all good. <laughs> Let's get you to the final room. Obviously, uh, really, I should have just waited until all the rooms were done, but that's okay. And it will just take a minute to bring my animals back in. See, now it's been a couple of days, we get three intestines from this pig. So hopefully once we're fully grown, maybe it'll give me four. I don't know. More would be even better. Let's get the fire on whilst we have a whole load of food cooking. I've just basically tried to top up on stuff because I realized we ran out of a couple of things, which isn't good. I mean, let's go have a look how the book is actually looking. Yeah, we've got loads of gaps. Like one minute we're full and the next we're out of like everything. <laughs> all right, all of our food is now good to go. 
I'm gonna put away anything that's like a prep item there. I should have room for all four things in the book. More than enough, in fact. I can definitely tell the amount of rep increase though is slowly starting to decrease, which is like fine. Oh, I've run out of water. I just have to see if I can find other ways to do it. I realized as well, I don't think I checked on the chickens today, which is kind of awkward. Why are you still out? Why are you not back in? I shouldn't question it. <laughs> now we can fit 12 in there. So they did still have some feed left. We've got a better water thing as well. There we go. And we'll collect both of these eggs. I think I'm going to go ahead and call last orders at this point. Get everyone on their way. And I am trying to be careful with making sure I've got enough of all of this stuff because it's really easy now to run out now that we only make one at a time. I am still really sad about the fact that we only make one at a time. We got at least one of everything we do. Oh no, no we what? And then from then on, it's just a case of doing loads of like random things. I will make some more must though, because I don't have much of any of it. Good night, everybody. Hope you have a good night. Clean up a bit more and then we'll go to bed. Okay, I think we're all cleaned up and then we are ready to head to bed. Actually, no, we've got some kegs. Let's deal with those first. And then we can head to bed, but I'll go and age them. Might as well get the extra for the aging. Okay, now it's bedtime. I think we made some really good progress today. We got another level. We got our new animals over here. And we made some good progress with the rep gain as well. I have a question of the day for you guys. If you could have like one signature dish out of everything that's on the traveler's rest menu with all the possibilities of ingredients that you could have, what would it be? And it's got to be something you can actually make in the game. For me, I think it would be the quiche with cheddar cheese, chicken and garlic. It's got to be garlic. If you think I was going to include anything else but garlic, do you even know me at all? But anyway, if you enjoyed the video, please do hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much to my channel members and I will see you in the next video. Bye!